What's up, Brian Tong here, and you know we have got to talk because you know that I have thoughts on the new USB-C Apple Pencil because I don't think I've seen such a random product release like this from Apple in a long time, and it was nothing else, just the pencil. So let's talk about it, and who is this new Apple Pencil actually for? But let's just get this out of the way first, all right? If you already have the latest Apple Pencil second generation, you do not need to get this new USB-C Apple Pencil. In fact, you probably don't want to because it does less than the second gen pencil that you currently own. Now this new USB-C pencil is a value play for Apple. It will cost $79. It has USB-C charging, but it loses a lot of features that the $129 second generation Apple Pencil has. That's right here. To me, it's really a sign that their second gen pencil was just too expensive. They weren't moving many and they needed a more affordable one. But it can get a little confusing because Apple will still sell the first gen pencil here for $99, the second gen pencil here for $129, and now this new USB-C pencil for $79. So let's break down what makes it different. This new pencil now has a sliding cap that allows customers to pair and charge it with a USB-C cable. It still has the matte surface like this one, like the second gen. It has this flat edge on it, and it can magnetically attach to all iPad models with a USB-C port, but when it does it, that enters into a sleep state and preserves the battery life. So that means there is no magnetic charging and no syncing with the new USB-C Apple Pencil. You'll have to use a USB-C cable to do all the charging and pairing. Now it still has the same pixel precision accuracy and low latency at around nine milliseconds, which is basically non-existent, and the same tilt sensitivity as the previous first gen and second gen pencils. And it also supports the hover feature with M2 models of the iPad Pro that's built into some apps, typically the illustrating and drawing apps. So what else are you missing here? Well, compared to the current second gen pencil, Apple even had to include this breakdown in their announcement to just help us out. Now you won't get pressure sensitivity and if you're an aspiring digital artist or a professional that's already taken advantage of this, that's gone in the USB-C versions. It still attaches magnetically, but like I said before, the USB-C version does not charge when it's attached magnetically. You'll only be able to charge and pair it via a physical USB-C cable. Now the double tap feature, tap tap to switch between tools and apps like notes and others does not work with the new USB-C pencil. And if you want a free engraving, you like that vanity stuff, well, you can't get that either. So the question is, right, who does this make sense for? Well, I think it makes sense for people who just wanna use a more affordable Apple Pencil for taking notes, scribbling, and just using the pencil. It also makes sense for new iPad owners who are getting their first iPad and just want the pencil functionality but don't need and will never use the higher end bells and whistles for artists. And also it's 50 bucks cheaper. I mean, if I think about it, I've rarely used the double tap feature. Um, and then the pressure sensitivity hasn't been something that I use in my workflow either, but I do like the magnetic charging and pairing that's instant but that's a $50 difference now. Now, if it makes sense for anyone, it's really people who are using or wanna use the Freeform app. That's their kind of whiteboard sharing app with a real-time collaboration without spending big on a pencil. I think this is definitely a better solution for people who own the 10th generation iPad and don't want the cable, plus the dongle, plus the first gen Apple Pencil setup that uh, I might have mocked before. Now, that 10th gen iPad is really geared towards the entry-level user, and that's all that most consumers need because does my mama, really need a 13 inch iPad Pro and does she need the top tier Apple Pencil? Probably not. So I just wanted to break down what this new pencil is all about. It's not an all new third generation pencil, but really it's a toned down entry level pencil in the body of a second generation pencil with a lot friendlier price point. And if you own a second gen Apple Pencil already, hey, there is nothing to see here. Now even Logitech has its own product called the Crayon and they make a USB-C version that's $69 for another more entry level type pencil experience. So what do you think of this, right? Apple just put out this pencil for us in the middle of October with no new iPad hardware, but that's why I wanted to explain it for you all. Hey, put your thoughts in the comments because that's what they're there for. And does this even make sense for you? Or are you moving along because you already have an iPad and an Apple pencil? Well, this new USB-C Apple Pencil will be available in early November for $79. And hey, that's it. That's going to do it for this video. If you like what you see, you know what to do. Give me the thumbs up, subs up, and hit that notification bell. 
ding to get all my latest videos when they drop. And if you want more of that Apple goodness, you can check out my Apple Bits XL audio podcast with the latest stories and special guests. Plus, you can support all my content with an ad-free version of the podcast, early access to my content, and exclusive content at patreon.com slash Brian Tom. We're doing a really cool closure rings contest just for my Patreon subscribers. So thanks for watching, everybody. Take care, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace and love.